Yeah, really good. We, we weren't happy the last two wins. Um, there was you know, definitely we weren't content the way we played. Um, in some ways, it was almost feeling like a bit of a loss in some ways. But today, we played, got back to why we want to play, and really pleased with the result. Yeah, absolutely. It's what we pride ourselves on, and that comes about from our tackles. Um, it, when we turn the ball over, that's when you get space. Quarter time, I think it was 21 uh, tackles to eight, and that was a big part of our game at that stage. And our tackle pressure enables us to talk, turn the ball over, and that's why we get some space in front. We know our forwards are dangerous in that scenario. We talked about how well players play, but you coach you're pretty good today in terms of putting more of you down forwards, take a luck in. Yeah, no, definitely. We we're confident that Janelle was the right uh, matchup for Wardlaw, and Wardlaw got off to a really good start. So for Janelle to fight back was really important. And then with Gooch coming back in, it was like none of our backs deserved to, to go out after last week because O'Driscoll was really good on debut. So we thought we'll just use one of them in a, in a negative role because I rate Luckin so highly. And not only does she stop attack, she gives drive. So we just yeah did that with Laura, and uh, Laura did the job really well. No, we'll, we'll look at the Bulldogs because we know that I really like their list. They're a young, exciting list that they'll be inconsistent because they are so young. Um, but we know that their best footy is really exciting. So we'll just prepare for them and uh, yeah, look forward to getting away on the road with the girls again. And um, yeah, just you make sure we can hopefully come back with the four points. Yeah, that's the way we like to play our footy. We like to get on the boot, get on the outside, and use our speed. And as soon as we can get in the forwards, we trust the forwards, they'll do their job. So as long as we're getting it in, we know we can back our forwards to get the four points on the scoreboard. Trent, back to you. Take the game one couple of times. Yeah, well, I'm getting a little bit nervous. Each week I'm playing in different positions, so I'm a bit nervous that I'm on the back end of the spectrum. I'm going to be delisted next year. But <laughs> um, hopefully, yeah, look, wherever Trent wants to play me, um, I'm just happy to do my role, and hopefully um, he's... He has the trust in me to do so as well. She played every last quarter, played ruck, wing, forward and back in one quarter. So she's my go-to um, and, uh, yeah, obviously produces everywhere for us. What's it like looking up in the field that you played a lot today and seeing the next back of Sabrina Duffy and Sabrina Fox here in the Yeah, well, obviously I played forward the first couple of games and being on the wing, um, knowing what those, how those girls move and how they operate, being on the wing gives me a little bit of an advantage where to put the ball into space. So um, just having that connection with the forwards is really special. So having me on the wing, um, I got that special connection to kick it on the wing for Duffy, who's really short, who's really good in the pockets, and then you've got Gemma, who's a great up lead-up mark. Trent, you said that you've been pleased with how the girls have played the last two weeks. Today, yeah, absolutely. And to be honest, I haven't been that unhappy. The girls themselves have been really hard on them themselves, the midfield group in particular. And uh, no, they were really determined to come out and play well today. And you know, the, the tackle numbers and pressure through that midfield was, was really pleasing. And uh, yeah, it was good to, to win that. And in the last quarter, I thought we really dominated the game. And we didn't, didn't score, but we sort of didn't need to at that stage. So really pleased the way we, we finished off because we know our fitness is really good. But it was, it was one of the few occasions Brisbane's fitness is really good as well, so we weren't going to have a massive advantage, but really happy the way uh, we did finish off. Yeah, exactly. We, we, I said, look at the stats at um, three quarter time, and Anderson Bates, as good as they've been, hadn't had a tackle between them, and like Turbo was already up to 12 or 13, and I know Grieve ended up with nine, so we know that even if we don't get the first hands, which we prefer to, our pressure will, is what will keep us in it, and uh, that was the way it proved today. Yeah, I, I think North Melbourne, Melbourne, Carlton, I think they've all been really impressive at different times, and, and well, North Melbourne's been really impressive. Everyone's just had one flat game, and we just happened to, to win our flat game, which is which is why we're undefeated. Um, like North Melbourne against Melbourne just lost, and since then they've been really dominant. Melbourne just had that one game where they, they should have beaten St Kilda, and they just lost that one. Apart from that, they've been dominant as well. So uh, it's still, yeah, definitely wide open, but what it's done is we've, we've given ourselves a chance to, to you know, press for finals and, and hopefully high up that conference ladder, which uh, I think you'll need to do. Okay. <laughs>